So Arjun, I'm really having trouble with these shells we're working on in class. Do you think you can help me out? Definitely. You can think of shells as a series of cylinders, kind of like this toilet paper. And each, each cylinder is infinitely thin. It's the dx in our integral. So, here we have the graph y equals negative x squared plus 4. And you can think of shells kind of like this. Imagine that we're, we're rotating about the y-axis. As you can see, we're going to make a series of cylinders of different sizes. So, as you can see here, the height of the function at any given point will be the height of a cylinder. And if we unfurl the cylinder, the length of the cylinder is equal to the radius, which is the distance from the axis, times 2 pi. Okay, so Asa, let's go ahead and take a very simple problem. Let's rotate y equals square root of x around the y-axis. So the first thing you should always do is go ahead and just draw your function. So here we have here we have um, the graph of y equals square root of x going somewhat like that, and this point is going to we'll mark this point as four. So we're going to go ahead and um, bound the area by the line x equals 4, the x-axis, and of course we have the curve y equals square root of x. So this shaded area now is going to be basically this entire thing here. So this is the area that we're rotating around the y-axis. And to show that, we can go ahead and make a little rectangle. And this rectangle is going to be drawn parallel to the axis of rotation, because this is basically saying that you can draw a bunch of rectangles under this curve going to the x-axis, and you can take these rectangles, rotate them around the y-axis, so that you get a shape that looks something like that. And it'll be, it'll be coming out this way too. So it kind of looks like a cake. I don't know. But um, basically we're going to be using this rectangle in the shell method formula, which is 2 pi times the integral from a to b of the height times the radius. And in this case, we want everything in terms of x because these rectangles that we'll draw are all going to be stacked up along the x-axis. So that's why we're going to write dx. So our limits of integration a and b are going to be 0 and 4 because that's what our area is bound by. So we can go ahead and write 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 4. And now for the height. The height of this rectangle is just going to be the function. So that's going to be the square root of x. And the radius is always the distance from the axis of rotation, so the y-axis, to your rectangle. So basically we're talking about this distance right here. And in this case, that distance is just going to be x. So we have x, the x. So we can go ahead and simplify this a little further and write 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 4. The square root of x times x is, um, is just x to the 3 halves and we still have our dx. Now we can go ahead and integrate this. So we have 2 pi times oops, 2 pi, and if we take the integral of this, um, we can go ahead and write times 2 fifths x to the 5 halves, 
and once again we're evaluating that from 0 to 4. So now if we go ahead and substitute 4 into here, we get 2 pi times 2 fifth times the square root of 4 to the fifth power. And uh, 4 to the fifth power is 1024. The square root of that is 32. I know I'm so smart. And um, we're just going to get the final answer as 128 bits pi units cubed, because we are talking about volume. So that's going to be your answer. Okay, so awesome. So now we're going to see whether you've really mastered the shell method. Um, here we are going to model a donut. We will be taking this circle modeled by our function x minus 5 squared plus y squared equals 1 and we're going to revolve it around the y-axis. So how would we fill in our general formula for this? Okay, well first I'm going to write down the general formula. So it's 2 pi mm -hmm. times the integral and for this problem um, the integral would be evaluated from 4 to 6. Mm -hmm. write that down. And next for the rectangles um, we're only going to look at the, the area of the function or the circle that is above the x-axis. So for now, we're just going to disregard what's down here. Okay. Um, so the, the rectangles would go from, from the x-axis up to the line, like this. So exactly, how are you going to account for the fact that we have this part below? Well, once we, once we evaluate um, the area of the top part rotated around the y-axis, all we have to do is multiply it by 2. So okay, we'll that works. Here. Okay, so... This is just the height of the function, so that's that's the height. And for the radius, that's once again just this distance from the rectangle to the axis. So that's r. Times, as usual, dx. Very nice. Uh, for one final challenge, um, let's say we have a hula hoop. Let's say we've hollowed out this donut and replacing it, we're going to have another circle. So now with our hula hoop, we want to find this volume of this shaded shape revolved around our y-axis. So tell me, how would you do that? Well. I guess you would just subtract the area of the small one from the area of the large one. Very nice. Yeah. You've now mastered the shell method. Awesome. For further practice, please refer to any of these problems.